your instructional technology coach. And today I'm going to show you how to make a Canvas course banner using a program called Canva.com. So this is a free program for what we want to use it for. We don't need to sign up for the pro subscription. Um, this program allows you to create lots of different designs. And today we're going to use it for a Canvas banner. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Canva.com Then I'm going to sign up with Google. And I'm going to sign in using my district Google account. This will take me to my Canva homepage. The banner that I want to create for my Canvas courses is actually custom dimension. So on the right hand side of the Canva homepage, I'm going to click custom dimensions. And the dimensions I want to create is 760 for the width and 200 for the height. This will create a banner that will fit your Canvas course on the web browser. It will also be visible and formatted correctly on the mobile devices. Once you put in 760 by 200, you can click Create New Design. To start editing your Canvas banner, you're going to use the toolbar on the left-hand side. This starts with Templates. So if I look here, these are recently used. These are some templates that I've already tried. Um, here's a bunch of different templates that Canva provides for you. And you just want to make sure that any template you choose to try, if you hover over it, it says free. So these are all free templates. So if I wanted to use this template, I can just grab it and drag it onto my banner. So here's my banner right now. Um, I have a text box here. I can double click the text and I can change the text inside the banner. So I can name this geology. Um, if I like it as it is, I could download it and that could be my Canvas banner. Um, but I have a lot of options for editing. If I want to add uh, more text to this banner, I can click over here on text and I have a couple different options of sizes and, and headings for my text. So if I wanna add a subheading, I can click and drag that over onto my banner. It's pretty small, so I'm going to enlarge it, and I'm going to move it right up here. And I might change this to Welcome to Geology. Um, I, can, I have some editing options for the text. If I double click on it here, I can go up and I can change the font. Um, anything with a crown next to it is a paid font, so you just want to search for a free one that you like. And then I can go up here and I can change the size. So if I think it's too big, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. I also wanna change the color. Um, and then I can, I have a lot of different elements up here that I can use to change the text. So right now, this is my banner. If I wanna add a photo to it, I have some options. If I go to photo, these are all Canva photos. Some of them um, are paid. Again, a crown or a dollar sign means that they're paid. Some of them are free. Um, so I can add a photo to my banner. If I click on a photo that I like and I drag it, depending on where you set it down on the banner, it's either going to autofill the back of your banner or, oops, I just deleted all of them. If I grab that and drag it on, it's going to autofill the back of my banner. But if I don't want to fill the back of the banner with the photo, um, I can also just place the photo on, on my banner. So if I go to Uploads, this is where you can upload an image or a video from your um, computer. Videos won't work for this because we're going to download the banner as a picture, but you can upload an image. So I have downloaded my photo from Skyward, and I've uploaded that into Canva. So I'm going to grab my photo, and I'm going to place my photo on the banner. Again, just be careful where you place it so it's not auto-filling. It's just placing on the banner. Any mistakes that you um, want to delete, you can just press the delete button. You can also right click and delete this. So now um, I've created this banner. It's, it's okay, it's not my favorite. I might change the photo. Maybe I want to search for geology. Ooh, that would be awesome. And then I'm gonna auto fill the back. If you don't like the section of the picture that Canva has chosen, you can double click on the picture and it shows you the original photo and then I can drag that um, to decide which section I want to actually be the back of my, of my banner, and then click Done. Um, uh, some other elements that you can do on this on Canva is you can use some grids. So if I delete my background photo, and I go over here to Elements, 
I have some options for grids. So if I would rather have multiple photos in the background instead of just one, I can click this grid and this will give me two different photos in the background. I can also click see all and I could make this three photos instead. Um, I can also right click on these and send it to the back so that it sits behind. Let's see, I've added too many grids. Let's delete that one. Um, I can send it to the back so it sits behind my actual picture. And then I can click on that section of the grid for that photo and I can go back to geology and I can add in these photos as part of my background. So I can click on the section. There we go. Oops add that picture. Oh, this one's pretty cool. I got to click on the section of that photo and add that in. So now this is my new um, background for my Canva banner. So you have lots of different op options over here with photos, um, elements, you can change the grids. You can also add in shapes or frames or stickers. Um, here's your text options, adding in some titles. They also have some pretty awesome um, combinations where the text is formatted differently. You can add background colors. So if you don't want these photos, you could just have any of these backgrounds. Um, and then again, you can upload your own images if you want to choose from your own images. So let's say I'm pretty happy with my um, banner. I'm just going to center this a little bit. And now I'm ready to download it and add it to my Canvas course. So I'm going to go up here to download. I want it to be a PNG. This is the suggested format, and I'm going to click download. Once it's done preparing my design, it's going to download my banner. I can exit this. This is advertisement. And here's my banner right here. If I double click on my banner, I'm going to open it. And here it is. And it's opening it with the Photos app. So I can click these three dots right over here, and I can click Save As. And then I can save it anywhere on my computer or in my Google Drive. So if I saved this here and named it Geology Course Banner, I can now add it to my Canvas course. So I've created a photo of it. If I want to make any changes of this banner, I have to go into Canva, into that template, make the changes, and then re-download the banner. So now I'm going to go into my Canvas course. This video is a mashup of an old video and a new video because I wanted to show you with the new um, text editor uh, what this looks like now versus the old video that had um, the old text editor. So once you've created your banner in Canva, you are going to open up the home page and it's probably the template home page that has just welcome to your course. Um, on your home page, you're going to click edit. I'm going to use these little dots on the right hand side to make this edit box a little bit bigger. I'm going to select my old banner and I'm going to click delete on my keyboard. So that removed my old banner. Now I need to upload the new banner um, to my Canvas course and it's an image. So I'm going to click on the little image icon right here and I'm going to upload an image. And then I double click on the rock or click once, click once on the rocket to open up your computer and you can find that banner. So if you saved it um, on your computer itself, like on the desktop, you can look for it here. I saved it in my Google Drive. So I'm gonna go to Google Drive File Stream and I'm gonna find that banner. And once this loads, here it is. So I'm gonna click on that banner. I click open. There's that banner I created and I click, oh, sorry, right before that, you want to um, scroll down and add some alternative text. So this is what the screen reader will read. So I'm going to say, welcome to geology banner. So that's what the screen reader will read as it reads the page and goes over your banner. And then I'm going to click submit. And that new banner will show up on my home page. I think it just needs a second. There it is. Okay, and then I just have to scroll down and remember to click save. And you can do this also for the community or the course information page. You can add a banner to the top of any page 
or assignment or discussion or any other resource if you want to, but especially if you want to edit that homepage. Thanks for watching and reach out if you have any questions.